number one if she's broke or you ask her where her five-year plan is and she doesn't have one let her go waste of time number two if she's extremely cocky and arrogant in her independence or she's constantly tearing down other women big character flaw internally happy people don't tear down other people and if she's not internally happy chances are she's going to depend on you to make her happy it's going to fail we don't like argumentative we don't we're used to argumentative because we probably grew up in households with argumentative mothers and aunts and, and all those type of mm -hmm, things mm -hmm, mm -hmm, but we don't mm -hmm. like that when we get older we we like that's the part of peace when they say be a man's peace because we don't want to argue with you we don't i don't want to argue the whole broke thing that most men don't really care you about big man <laughs> we don't care about you being broke like why you oh, it's according to your man. mentality if you have a broke mentality yes Jump podcast. Oh, let's go. Number one, if she's broke or you ask her where her five year plan is and she doesn't have one, let her go. Waste of time. Number two, if she's extremely cocky and arrogant in her independence or she's constantly tearing down other women, big character flaw. Internally happy people don't tear down other people. And if she's not internally happy, chances are she's going to depend on you to make her happy. Is gonna fail number three if she is argumentative or disrespectful to you at any point let her go because you can't re-respect somebody and a woman who truly respects you will demonstrate a little bit of emotional control and she will not disrespect you if she really cares about you four and i might get some backlash for this but that's okay if she has an extreme amount of male friends red flag i don't even gonna go into it no one or two okay cool but a large amount of male friends men always around she's too attention seeking Five, if she's a woman that has ever abandoned you because of a disagreement or if she runs away every time you guys fight, chances are she's probably going to run and go get attention from someone else because she can't handle not having that attention. I know y'all ain't gonna like what I'm about to say, I'm, but that on. sounds like a nigga right there. Hold on, wait, that I'm sounds a, like wait, the dude. I, I, I'm gonna say like this right said, now. It sounds like she's talking about the guys right now, not Look, the girls. I, I'm gonna say this right now. I lost concentration at like number two because them, like them, them titty nipples. First of all, <laughs> them, them bingo bitties. The, you, what can't even, you can't even what? see her damn nipples. It don't matter. She has on a sheer black shirt, but she got on a white bra. We love but it. But you can't see no damn nipples. We love it. <laughs> I, 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 anyway, I. I, I don't want to be male you, chauvinistic. Girl. Yeah, right. You know what? We're gonna be. <laughs> let's, let's pull it back in. Yeah, 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 yeah. We're, we're yeah, yeah. We're gonna we're be very diplomatic here. We're yeah. not gonna talk about. So wait, that. so wait. Mm -hmm. are we, we gonna let CJ kick this one off. Go ahead, CJ. CJ, what do you think, bro? Listen, listen. That was like that was like Love Jones. <laughs> like, that was like poetry. <laughs> yes, we don't want you to be argumentative. But that's what the yes. hell y'all like. Whoa, 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 <sighs> whoa! This is our segment. Y'all still let you get Stop your, cutting in it. Stop right. cutting in it. Listen, right. we don't like argumentative. We don't. We're used to argumentative because we probably grew up in households with argumentative mothers and aunts and, and all those type of mm -hmm. things. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But we don't mm -hmm. like that. When we get older, we, we like that's the part of peace when they say be a man's peace because we don't want to argue with you. We don't. I don't want to argue. The whole broke thing, most men don't really care you about. You big man. <laughs> we don't care about you being broke. Like, why you? Argue? It's according to your mentality. If you have a broke mentality, yes. But if you don't have no money, we don't really care about that part. The male, the male friends things, yes. If you got a lot of male friends, and, and uh, that's a that's weird. That's very weird. So what well, about y'all dudes with, the, with, with, with a lot of female friends? That ain't got nothing to do with us. What? That's y'all. <laughs> Well, wait, see, wait, miss. Wait, let me ask. Let me ask. Uh, uh, see, that, let me let me ask you. Let me ask you. Because whenever you ask a woman, yo, why do you got so many male friends? First thing they say is, well, because women gossip too much. They doesn't. And may I like this? Well, then you need to be lonely. You don't need to have no friends. And men don't gossip. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, man, guys, maybe the first one come back. Yo, I seen your boyfriend. Yo, yo, yo yeah. yeah. He was out. He was at the hookah spot with this. Yeah. I thought it was his sister. I know. I like they be the first one. So that I don't believe in that. But yeah, like the the the, the thing she said was was very true. It was very very true. So T, hey, T, T mm -hmm. let me T, let me. Oh, so now you want my opinion? Uh, yes, I'm about to. Mm. Ask you. I'm about to. Okay. Ask you. Why do Why do this generation of women get so upset when you ask them, "Well, what do you bring to the table?" Do you know why? I do. So I think I think it, in my opinion, I can't really speak for the generation because once again, I'm of the 
Minority. No, so. as I said before, you going to speak with on the night. God damn it. I'm not your spokesperson. Mm. So basically what I think it is, is now these days, these women, they want the men to take care of them. So therefore, what it is, is OK, like, look, if I got a dude that's going to take care of me, I ain't got to do nothing. Uh, but but wait a minute. But now, now, isn't that what all women look for? They want somebody to take care of them. I think a lot of them be confused. Because of- so a lot of it is, it's like a double edged sword. You want a guy to take care of you, but then yeah. also at the same time, you want to be I'm independent. independent. Yeah, yeah. So, you know, which one is it? You can't be both at the same time. There's an old saying that goes, he who makes the goal makes the rules. So if he's making the goal, why you can't follow the rules? Now, again, I'm not saying that a man should be a tyrant and the woman has to do everything I mean, yeah. like she's hypnotized. I agree. I agree. But at the end of the day, it's like if he's making the goal, allow him to make the rules. And so what, I, what I've experienced is that there are a lot of women out there that say they want a man to lead, but they really don't want him to lead. Because when he comes up with the with the ideas and how he wants his life to go and how he, he wants his family structure to be. Then they want to start changing Then it's stuff. like, oh, no, mm-hmm. I'm not doing It's like, well, wait, you asked me to lead. Right. And then when I lead, you have a problem with my leadership. So then I'm I'm diplomatic enough and, um, and I, I, I like you enough to where I say, you know what? All right, let me fall back and let her, you know, let her take a little yeah. bit of the lead. Yeah. Oh, now um, I'm uh, he's sassy because I got to make the. Why I always got to make the date? Well, I asked you, do you want to go eat at so and so? You said no. Then I asked you, do you want to go eat here? You said no. So then when I said, hey, where do you want to eat? Why do I got to choose? It's like, well, what do you want? Well, you know what? And I'm going to tell you so what I said. I'm going to tell you what I said. In the comments, he was I, like, well, that's a good list. Yeah, but most look, women got at least one of them. So then what? Listen, yeah. Listen, like, but, d- so this is the thing. Nobody is perfect. So there, there you go, Jalil. No but one is perfect. Now, now, back to what CJ said. If if you got a problem with where I choose for you to eat, you eat, eat this dick. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go again. That's always the, that's always the final that's option. All. That's always the final Here option. Here we go. You don't want pasta. Yeah. You don't want soul food. I got something for you. I mean, we can always go there, but to get back on topic, yeah. You don't the, want this pasta. <laughs> you take this Dexter. <laughs> So at the end of the day, it's like, again, yeah, nobody's perfect. So, yeah, one yeah. of them. Me, I'll take, again, out of all of them, I'll take the uh, the broke woman. Give me the, the one that's broke. Cool. I, I can kind of help change so the you, mindset. So, wait a minute. So, wait a minute. You want the broke woman because you want to manipulate her? No, 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 is that no, what it is? No, well, no, no. Hey, listen, 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 there's, there's nothing there. wrong with a girl with a low self-esteem. <laughs> what? I didn't say that. <laughs> That was not my Take words. Take that back. That was not my words. But it's nothing wrong with a girl with low self esteem. <laughs> because I can help her so, get her self esteem up. <laughs> see, that goes to show where y'all frame them. No, 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 no. Y'all no, want, no, some, y'all want oh, somebody that's weak. No, nope. y'all want somebody that's weak. <laughs> listen, every time you can't take a strong woman. No, no, no. So like, listen, look, you y'all y'all just can't accept no, a strong woman. No. Like that's so, what it sounds so, like. So no, because what y'all try to do is y'all try to mask the word strong with intolerant. I don't want to. I don't want anybody that I, I can't tolerate. And 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 uh, I've heard this so many times. As a man, it's like, oh, you need to do this. You need to change this. And da da da. But the moment you tell a woman to change, she says, well, how come you don't like me for who I am? Hmm. So you can be you, but when I'm me, I can't yeah. be me. Nope. Yeah. How does that? <laughs> work? Listen, you know what? I, I'm gonna tell you, us men. We need to start hitting these ladies with, hey, we need to talk. No, but see, that's the problem. Yeah. Y'all men don't like yeah. to talk. Y'all men don't like to talk. We don't like, like to talk. talk about the same thing that we talked about or, no, or y'all we don't don't like the other talk. time. Or we don't like to talk because we don't feel like we're given the safe space to tell you how we really feel. Because then I'm called sassy or, oh, you this, you emotional or whatever. So like, that's why I said with women, it's like you can't win. It's like. If I'm emotional, I'm sassy. If I'm not so emotional, don't, don't categorize nothing. all women not, that this way. Is not so all women. Let's just say this some is, women. This is not all women. Because you do have some women that are that can be a safe space and that can listen and and offer a safe shoulder Where for you at? to. Man, do they got seven man, kids? Because if they got seven I kids, I can't do it. I don't want no safe shoulder. I take a teddy nibble. I'm, uh. <laughs> I'm nice and safe for the night. <laughs>